Hello there, my name is Ashraf from Zenon Studios. Well, today I want us to take us through hatching. Well, different materials are represented using different symbols on drawings. As you can see on my screen, I have some um, hatches drawn, uh, brickwork, fireboard, hardcore, and all these are representations of materials. So today I want to explore how we can actually draw these hatches in AutoCAD and probably input these onto our drawings. Um, without further ado, let's dive into AutoCAD and we see what we can do. Perfect. So in AutoCAD, I'm simply going to um, I'm going to draw some rectangles and into these rectangles we shall represent different materials so i'm simply going to duplicate this uh, there 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 here perfect so if you head over to the draw tab you can see down here we have this symbol here and if you hover your cursor over it you can see that it is the hatch so I'll click the hatch um, and it will open the hatch and as you can see we have the solid color, we have an angle, we have ANC 31, we have ANC 32. Let us test ANC 31. So you simply click the hatch that you want to use. This time we are using ANC 31 and then when you read the command line it's saying pick an internal point. So you need to pick an internal point of a closed boundary you know, where you want to represent this hatch, where you want to put this hatch. So I'll simply click inside this rectangle just like that. And as you can see, we are seeing just a solid, um, we are simply seeing a solid white color. And that's because the scale we are using for this hatch is too low. Um, so we need to increase the scale and, is, and if you head over up here you can see that we have transparency angle and then down here we have a scale so I'll adjust this scale um, to let's say 60 enter and when I input 60 you can see that we can now see our hatch perfect let us try out um, so I'll simply close hatch creation on that side then in the next rectangle, I'm going to put ANSI 32. Uh, ANSI 32 is used to represent walls or block work, brick work. So I'll click ANSI 32 and click inside the rectangle. And as you can see, it will represent perfectly. The scale is still up there, 60. So it will represent perfectly. Then we have this angle here. If I try to toggle the angle, you will see that the the hatch angle will also change uh, keep looking at my screen the hatch angle keeps on changing so you can put this hatch at any angle that you want right there perfect so uh, i'll close hatch creation still then let's say you want to represent hardcore so you're simply going to click this um, perfect. So I'll reopen my hatch command. Uh, press the drop down arrow, and as I say, there are very many um, hatches in here. You can have this brick hatch. Let us try it out. So if I put it there, you can see that we get that brick pattern that you see in an elevation of a wall. There are very many hatches in here that you can go ahead and try out. We have earth. So if I press earth, you can see that my hatch changes to earth. Um, perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, let me close hatch creation. My computer is slowing down. Okay, I'll click my hatch command again. Drop down arrow. And um, so I'm looking for gravel that is hardcore. And as you can see, we have gravel over here. So if I click gravel and put gravel right here, 
can see that we get a representation of gravel. The scale is a little too high, so you can simply reduce that scale. Um, uh, let's say to to thirty. Enter, and yeah, our gravel is being represented just like that. Uh, very many hatches in here that you can go ahead and try out uh, and play with the different commands that are associated with these hatches. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like this video, share it with your colleagues, and subscribe to the channel if you find this information useful. Thank you. See you in my next video.